Hello, my name is Christina. I'm originally from Lithuania. I have been living in UK for 21 years and had partial psoriasis for the last 16 years. No one in my immediate family has skin-related diseases. I noticed the first symptoms of partial psoriasis as soon as I got back from my honeymoon in Egypt. It was May 2005. I was 27 years old and three months pregnant. While in Egypt, I remember my body reacting to very salty water out there. I felt massive pain and stinging all over my body. It was a reaction I never had before. When we got back from home to UK, I noticed small circles of red rash with pustules appearing on my calves. They were getting bigger and started to spread up my thighs around the hips area, sides of my stomach, under my breasts and hands. My feet became swollen, it was hard to walk. I couldn't even think about anything else, just pain. So I was signed off from work until further notice. Affected areas were not itchy, but were very painful. The feeling was like your skin is burning, like someone was holding an iron to your skin continuously. I took strong painkillers daily and just laid in bed. After the honeymoon, I was in a lot of distress and after two months of suffering, I went to emergency department myself as I thought I was going to die from pain. I finally was admitted into the hospital, diagnosed with partial psoriasis and stayed there until I gave birth in October. I was given steroids first, but still was in a lot of pain around the rash areas and my feet were getting even more swollen. It was the most stressful time of my life. Everyone was hoping that all will go away with the birth. However, that didn't happen. With taking big doses of steroids came other distressing issues, like my face was getting bigger and puffier, which almost unrecognizable. I had increased hair growth on my face, back and neck, Steroids helped my skin, but I was still getting flare-ups three times a month until I was given biological medicine. When having a flare-up, I had experienced a lot of pain in affected areas, normally on my legs and have some feet swelling. Skin would be covered in circles of red rash with pustules, which would get bigger and then pop and reappear again in different area. Then there is skin healing period, when your skin dries up and then peels off your body, making the bed and carpet around you covered in a lot of dry skin. With the biological medicine, I am now getting some heavier flare-ups only twice a year. The main reasons for flare-ups, I think, would be stress at work, which leads to alcohol, which leads to depression and more mindless eating. The flare-up normally would last around three weeks until I manage to address it with having enough rest and eating healthy food and doing mindful exercises. When having a flare-up, I sometimes become angry, irritable, and have no patience with people. Sometimes when I suffer a lot, I feel sad and depressed. I hate myself because of how I look. During that time, I don't interact with people. I don't go out. I just lay in bed and feel sorry for myself. From the outside, it looks like there is nothing wrong with me. People often don't understand why I have to take time off as I look fine. Five years later, after diagnosis, I tried to change my lifestyle, quit smoking, reduced alcohol, and explored many alternative treatments, but none of them were sustainable. I still ended up in some painful skin flare-ups and sometimes very dramatic ones where I would end up in a hospital with my skin literally peeling off my body. Finally, I got to terms that this illness will never disappear, and I have to deal with it just the best way I can. I consider myself very lucky. It's mainly affecting just my legs, which I can hide. Without biological medicine, I don't think I would be able to live normal life.